All right, everybody. So since I've already showed you how to replace the fluid master and the flapper, we're gonna go ahead and replace the toilet seats. These are beam toilet seats and these were supposedly easy clean toilet seats that have a lever here. You just turn this lever this way and turn that lever that way. Then this seat lifts off. We're gonna have to take the hardware out and then we bought the new beam slam, unslamming, you can't slam at toilet seats. So let me get this one off. Well, here, let me just pass you over. So from here, this toilet seat will just come off. We'll get that over there and out of here. And then you need a Phillips screwdriver on these to stick in here and you unscrew the original hardware. And of course the bolts are like super long. The plastic bolts are super long. All right, so there's one. Here's the second one. All right, there's the second one. Go ahead and get yourself uh, some type of disinfectant wipe while you're here. And you can get in here and you can clean this area really nice in the holes. Make that toilet shine. All right, so now the next step is you take your new toilet seat and you need to flip up the pieces that hold the hardware that holds it down. Then you can set your seat on the holes and uh, like so. Then you got your new hardware. Here are Here is the new hardware. So you go ahead and you stick that through the hole. And you stick that one through the hole. And I'm gonna adjust the seat. Come back a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the seat so it's where it needs to sit, nice and level. And then you have your, your two nuts that fit underneath. So you wanna get your two nuts started. Now, I don't know why they made them this way. You can do it two ways here. They tell you to take a half inch wrench and to turn this. But inside there, there is a Phillips head. So I'm going to use the Phillips head to get this tightened down. So just like removing the other seat, we're gonna take, and of course the seat's moving around because these bolts are so long. So I don't have that one tight yet, so I can still move this one around. And eventually this nut behind here should like grab on something where you don't need to hold it, but that's not always true on all toilets. All right, so now I'm going to get the toilet seat, you know, side to side, back and forth where I want it to be. As you can see, I'm pretty even on the mount. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the toilet down and I'm gonna tighten these mounts down. And of course, this is one of these slam-proof toilet seats. So, these are slowly going down. All right. All right, so once you have those tight and you have the toilet seat where you want it, here, I'll show you. See, no slam. Looks like I'm off a little bit, so I'm gonna loosen this one up a hair and move it over. There we go. That's tight now. That's tight now. Now they tell you to take your half inch wrench and to snap those off, because you don't need them anymore. I didn't need them to begin with. I'd rather have just the Phillips. Then you lock it down and it's done, let's try it. So there's toilet seat up. Mm 
and there goes the toilet seat down. No more slamming it when your hand slips off in the middle of the night and you wake up the whole, the whole household. All right, everybody, there you go, part three. Please check out my other videos on how to change the fluid master valve in the toilet and the flapper in the toilet. And now there you go. That's how you put a seat on a toilet. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner there. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Please like and share.